Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today what I wanted to show you is something that I'm currently working on here. And this is for an upcoming psychological thriller horror movie that's called Sweet Taste of Souls. So basically what I had to create here is for a scene where there's a police scanner. So this is the audio that's coming out of the police scanner. And if you're not familiar with police scanners, they sound kind of like radios. They're a little harsher than radios actually. And there's usually a lot of sounds, a lot of noises as people sign on and off of the radio here, the police scanner. So that's another thing that's, that's a little different from, you know, listening to the FM radio, for example. So basically, these are my tracks here. And so what I have is I actually have myself doing one character, and then I have someone that I'm working with on this film doing another character. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to deactivate all these plugins. And I will show you what I got originally in here. Okay, so let's listen to what I got for myself here. And if you're not familiar with solo safing, you just hold command and click on the S here in Pro Tools and that will solo save your aux so that you don't have to solo that as well in order to hear anything that's within that aux. Okay, I'm just gonna hold option here and click on this to bring it back up to zero and let's listen to what I got in. Full on northbound Old Grove Road. Full on northbound Old Grove Road. Full. Okay, so that's my recording. I'll put that back to negative 9.4. And now let's listen to the other character. Trusky, this is dispatch. Send your trusky. This is dispatch. Send your trusky. This is dispatch. Send your trusky. This is dis. And so he recorded it at a much lower level here. So I have this one boosted. It's actually just about as much as my voice is cut, which is kind of interesting. 9.4, 9.5. Wow, I didn't realize I did that. Um, but basically, this is at a lower level. So this being at a low level might be a problem if this were something like a studio recording that we wanted to have a certain level of quality to it. But this is just going to sound like a police scanner. So I actually didn't mind having that kind of signal to noise ratio because it's going to help make it sound more like a police scanner because police scanners sound really dirty and nasty and gross. So this is totally fine. So basically I boosted this. I cut mine to get them to similar levels, right? And then what I did... Let me see how I'll show you guys this. Okay, so I'll show you how I made this sound more like a police scanner. So basically, let's listen to this phrase still. And so the first thing I brought in was an EQ. And so basically I just cut both ends of the frequency spectrum and made it a really thin band here for what we actually allowed to pass through. So I'll let you hear that. Okay, Rusky, this is dispatch. 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 Okay, Rusky, this is... So you hear the difference there? So a lot of times with our radios, with things that are radio adjacent, you know, like police scanners, they aren't able to capture and reproduce the ends of the frequency spectrum, right? So, cause they don't really need to have a ton of bass. They don't need to have a ton of really high frequencies. Basically, they just need to be able to get the information across, the language across, right? So they don't really need high quality microphones, high quality speakers to be able to recreate those frequencies. So they don't, right? They don't bother. So basically the first thing I did was cut that frequency spectrum. And I did that as well on mine. So let me show you mine here. Not an abandoned vehicle on northbound Old Grove. Not an abandoned vehicle on northbound Old Grove. Not an abandoned vehicle on... And you'll notice I did a different frequency spectrum here. And that's just because I liked how it sounded with my voice. Uh, that was just a preference thing. You do want them to be treated fairly similarly, though, so that they sound like they're coming through, you know, the same type of thing, you know, a police scanner, a police radio. So I cut the frequencies. That's the first thing I did. The next thing I did was compress these, and I compressed them a lot. So basically with police scanners and police radios, what happens is the radio itself really compresses the signal, right? Because all you want is the actual content of what the person's saying, and so they don't really care too much about the subtleties of, you know, dynamics and stuff like that. So they usually actually come out sounding super compressed and distorted. So what I did here was I just over compress this and I mean like I really over compressed it so I have a seven to one ratio which actually isn't that high honestly but I mean it's pretty high for you know what you might compare it to like musical effects and stuff like that but basically seven to one ratio I set the threshold very low so negative 27 decibels basically and then I cranked up the output here so you'll notice I'll play it before and after 
dispatch. Okay, rescue, this is 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 dispatch. And so you hear that noise level, that signal to noise ratio coming into play here, right? And so you hear that noise level coming up with the rest of his lines. My computer sounds like it's taking off again. I'm sorry, guys. So I did that, and I did that on mine as well. So I will show you that. Abandoned vehicle on northbound Old Grove. Abandoned vehicle on northbound Old Grove. Abandoned and so my recording's a lot cleaner. The signal to noise ratio is better, but I'm gonna now have to add noise to make it sound more like an actual police scanner, police radio. So the last thing I did on these dialogue tracks is I added this effect. And this is just the Sound Toys Decapitator. And so the only reason I added this was to add that crunch, that grittiness, that nastiness to the actual sound of the voice to make it sound like it's coming from a nasty police scanner radio, right? So I will just play that with and without so you can hear it. Okay, rescue, this is dispatch. 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 And you can see I put punish on, right? Because I wanted it super gritty and nasty and gross. So basically what I did with this is I started on the old radio preset and then I changed some stuff here. So I messed around with it until it sounded how I wanted it to sound. So yeah, so basically I added this to make it sound crunchier, nastier, grosser, more like it's coming from a police radio, a police scanner, right? Okay, so I'll play you my voice here with the same thing on it. An abandoned vehicle on northbound Old Grove Road. Near an abandoned vehicle on northbound Old Grove Road. Near an abandoned vehicle on northbound Old Grove Road. Near and I think I might have had some of these settings slightly different on my voice just because of the way my voice sounded with this effect, right? So sometimes I'll tweak them slightly uh, to make it sound, I don't know, a little different. But it's more or less the same idea. I started with the old radio and then I tweaked the parameters here until it sounded how I liked it. So that's that. So basically you'll notice that I have a lot more on my voice paired with my voice than I do with his. So I'll talk about his first. So basically since his signal to noise ratio was really low, I didn't have to do a ton to make his sound more like a police scanner. So all I did once I had this going, and I will mute mine here, is I went into freesound.org, I believe. Yeah, it was freesound.org. And I found a sound effect. I ran a search for police scanners, police radios, and I made it Creative Commons Zero so that I can use whatever I find. And then I listened to a whole bunch of different police scanner sounds until I found one that I thought would kind of match what I had going on here in terms of the sound quality and the texture and everything. And so I found some sound effects that makes it sound like they're um, signing off of the radio, basically. And I added that to his, his dialogue here. Go rescue, this is dispatch, over. So that's what this is here. It's that sign off click. And that's basically that. I went through this whole file here and found a bunch of different sign offs. And I just added them alongside his dialogue. Traffic cover. And so then the last thing I did for his side of the dialogue is I sent it all to an aux track and I just added a little bit of EQ. And all I did here was boost the 500 range a little bit. Um, not super necessary, but I did it. I don't know. It's my story. So that's his dialogue. Let's talk about what I did on mine. So mine sounds like this just by itself. Batch, this is rescue on three. Batch, this so what I did was I added some more noise to make it sound more like it's coming from a radio from someone that's maybe out in the field somewhere because that's the whole idea of this dialogue is that I'm the one out in the field. So I added these two noise tracks and they're really quiet without these plugins on here. So I'm just going to add these really quick here so you can hear them. But basically what I'm doing is EQing them kind of like the radio EQ, same idea. And then I'm compressing them just like I did on the dialogue and all for the same reasons, right? So I added that noise, so that paired with my voice now sounds like this. I'll add them in so you can hear the difference. Batch, this is rescue on three. 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 But it still didn't sound gritty enough to me, so I then added in this sound, which I will play by itself so you can hear that. But basically, I just gave it a really quick EQ here towards the end. It's not as necessary. I just felt like it needed it for some reason. But yeah, so then I added in this sound, which is more of the radio background sound. And then on this track as well, I also have those sign offs that I did on the other track. 
cool. So when I add all these together and I add in my EQ on my aux track here, which is another not so necessary boost in the mids, but um, here it is. I did it. I felt like it was needed. So this is it all together for my voice, my dialogue here. I'll play it so you can hear the sign off. Batch, this is rescue on three. Over. And so that's that. So that's how I put those together. And it just started with these two dialogue tracks that we recorded and I just added stuff and added grunge until it sounded like it was coming from a police scanner. And then the last thing that I added here was a limiter. And I believe this EQ is actually blank. I didn't do anything to it. Yeah, it was just a placeholder that I didn't use. But I did add this limiter. This is the Fab Filter limiter. I love their stuff. Um, I use this limiter all the time. But basically I just added this to give it a little polish. So here's what we have. Rescue on three, over. Okay, Rescue, this is Dispatch. Send your traffic over. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how I did it. So that's it. That's how I made what you might basically call normal audio to sound like a police scanner. So I hope you guys found this useful. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And as always, if you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, tell your friends about my videos, all that junk. And if you want to support my channel more directly, I do have a Patreon. So it's patreon.com slash noise. And my patrons do get access to additional content. And I think I might upload a template version of this session onto Patreon for my patrons. I know not everyone has access to the same plugins or DAW that I'm using here. So it might not be the most useful thing on my Patreon for my patrons. But I figure just in case any of you guys would want to or be able to use this, I'll do my best to upload a template onto Patreon for you. And that's it. I come out with new videos every Wednesday, and thanks for watching. Okay.